What was the attraction? Were you a Hunter fan? Oh yeah, a very big fan of Hunter, but also a big fan of Johnny too. I mean, I had a tremendous admiration for him. He, he's a great artist, great musician, great actor. I did not expect to be a, a director again. I thought I was going to write the script. And then uh, when the script came in, Johnny started nagging me to be the director of it. Because he, he is who he is. Uh, I, you know, after about the third phone call, I said, oh, well, fuck it, okay. We only had one fractious moment at the top of the movie where, before we started shooting, and saying, this isn't the bald-headed guy prancing around in shorts. This is you. What do you mean, me? I'm, you know, uh, Johnny finally said, listen, you know, I've asked you to direct. Direct me, then. You, you don't want that, Hunter? No, I don't. I want a naked hunter, I want a, a young man in a suit who's trying to find his voice, who will later become Gonzo. You know, that's right. what he did. Here's the thing, you never know what to expect from Johnny, because i got to tell you, he comes out of the box and you don't know what he's going to be, you know. Um, you can crank him like a jack in a box, <laughs> he's a different character each time. Every character in the film, um, everybody is, in every situation, is an aspect of Hunter S. Thompson. And I think that, you know, Johnny obviously knew him. And I think he's really absolutely the fulcrum for, for the film. And that can, be, that can be a scary thing sometimes. You know, uh, and difficult to, have, to maintain that kind of focus. I just think he's uh, one of the best actors that we have. Who told you that? When Giovanni first came in for the kind of casting thing, you know, he's a very eminent actor and he was going to get the part, obviously, if he was going to do it, it was his part. And he, he actually said to me, well, what is it, what is it? And I didn't know what it was, I knew it was a very nasal thing, and I, and I remember saying, oh, well, you know, it's something like that. And uh, he picked up on that. And then throughout the rest of the movie, much to my chagrin, because I could never talk to him like an actor, I'd say, Giovanni, can you, or could we just talk about this in a second? Oh, oh, you think I can't do it? You know, he so stayed in character wow. all the time. He's such a fucking great actor, that guy, you know. I just, I went with the, with the tide with him, you know, and he, that's the way he wants to play the part. In order to be, to really do this, I had to break down any structure or any process that I had had sort of gotten used to in what I do in acting. I wanted to be like a Mack truck mashing into a brick wall. We had talked about the idea that when you're in the seat in the audience watching this movie, you want to be able to smell this guy. And that was the idea, you know? And so that was, seemed to be like, okay, simple enough, you know? Bruce was very proud of the fact that his adaptation uh, had the whole spirit of, of Hunter and everything. The saddle in the book has, there were certain aspects from him in the book that I, you know, tried to put into the performance. But um, as far as the sidekick thing, I love sidekicks, you know, I love sidekicks. You know, Spencer Tracy was a sidekick to Clark Gable when he was first, when he was first starting out. I think it, it's the, that's, that's what they mean by supporting the character, you know, supports the, the main guy. And, so that's what I was hoping to do. Front seat's gone. I've got a brilliant idea. Try and look normal. Mm -hmm. 